Yo, what's up, boys? Today we're gonna talk about how to have more time in your day. Okay, today we're gonna use a new thing I'm doing called Video Scribe. So let me know if you guys like the new format. Um, without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so how can we create more time in our day? This is a question I know a lot of you guys are busy on self improvement, and you're like, damn, there's like just not enough hours in the day. Okay, I get it, but there's ways that there's things that we can implement in our day that would literally just create more time out of thin air. So, here's how I'll outline the things you can do and what you shouldn't do. The first thing is the most primitive thing you're gonna try to do is sleep less. And for this one, I don't agree. I don't think you should try and sleep less. It's the easiest and most natural thing that you're gonna try to do is like go to bed later and or try to wake up earlier but guys you need to get your seven hours okay if you're working out you need to get your seven hours you might as well not even be working out it'll affect your performance and it's just not worth it to cut down so you could do it but i don't agree with it the next thing is to just do less stuff um just literally crossing a line through stuff that you like to do and i don't really agree with this one either um you know, say you like to spend time with your family. You should spend time with your family. So, you know, like if you do a thing during your day, chances are you do it for a reason and you don't want to just stop doing it because it benefits you somehow. Okay, unless that thing is literally useless, like playing video games, you know, you can cut that out. But most of the times when people cut stuff out, it tends to be like actually like healthy things like working out or spending time with friends and family. Okay. The third thing that we can do is actually optimize and refine our day. So these next few slides will be me explaining in depth how we can optimize the time that we do have during the day. And this will just make us more efficient. We'll create more time throughout our day and just make us more effective. All right. So optimizing. I'll introduce you to three uh aspects of, of it, I guess you could say. The first thing is intensity. I'll talk about this a little bit later. Second thing is keeping track, more specifically keeping track of the time that we do have. And the third thing is going to be goal setting. So if we combine all these three, we can really optimize the way that we are using our time. It started with intensity. Intensity I read from Cal Newport's Deep Work is literally just your output equals the units of time spent on a task times intensity. So if we just use the same amount of time, but we just increase the hardness with which we are going, then we'll have more output, you know, we'll have, or we can decrease the units of time. So instead of 20, so let's just say instead of 30 minutes of you studying German, maybe you increase your focus and you only spend 15 minutes. Boom, you just create an extra 15 minutes and now you have the same amount of output. Okay, so just remember in order to save time, simply increase the intensity of a task to create the same amount of output. You can apply this to anything. Working out, you could do hit workouts instead of these long ass, you know, pause set reps that you guys have. All right. The second thing is keeping track of our time. Most of you guys do not keep track of your time. Most of the people, people I know don't even know how long they're doing shit for during the day. You're Once you actually start keeping track of it, you're going to realize that you have like all these giant blocks where you think you're doing something and you're not really actually doing much of anything. So what I want you to do tomorrow is write everything down that you do and write down for how long you did it for. I guarantee you because most people overestimate the amount of time that they estimate they spend each day doing productive things and they underestimate the amount of time they spend doing unproductive things, aka watching TV, doom scrolling on Reddit, playing video games. But if you actually write down on paper, you're going to be like, holy smokes, like I'm actually spending way too much time doing useless stuff. The third aspect is creating goals. Okay, so set your goals from the night before, always. Take the time and like write down what your goals are going to be tomorrow before tomorrow comes. And the second two things are going to be one, having major goals uh, and two, having minor goals. OK, so let me explain. In terms of setting goals, this is an example goal list that let's just call this a random day in Brandon's day. Okay, so I'm going to do my taxes. I'm going to go to the gym. Let's say I'm going to 
wash my car because it's super dirty. I'm going to do Duolingo. I'm going to study German on Duolingo. I'm going to read 15 minutes of a book I'm trying to get through. I'm going to edit this video and I'm going to meal prep for the week. Okay, so let's say I got done my two major tasks. You can see they're in bold is their major. And let's just say I got through most of the minor stuff, but I didn't edit the video and I didn't do my German. So but this is okay because I did the two most important of my goals. And I also got a lot of other stuff done, but I didn't do uh, two things that, you know, isn't going to kill me pretty much. So you guys are making goals and then prioritizing them in order of how important they are. You know, not all goals are the same amount of importance. Just you decide which ones that you're unwilling to compromise on and which like no matter what, those are the things that you need to do before you do anything else. On this day, I decided that my taxes and my gym was the major goals. So I got those done, knocked out. And just in general, realize which ones you're not going to give way on. So those first two, like they had to get done no matter what. The unbolded ones, you know, they can be done or they could not be done, but I'm not going to lose sleep over it if I don't do it. Okay. I want to introduce you guys to a quote where, who said this? I don't remember who said it. Anyways, you're always going to have time. Or, 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 uh, fuck, can you speak? There will always be time for everything, but there's not going to be enough time to do the most important thing. So there's never going to be enough time for you to check everything off your box, but you can always make time to do the most important things that you have during your day. Okay, so that is my goal list. That is the video. <laughs> Let me guys know. Be sure to subscribe.